everyone, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a what's for dinner video. I've got several recipes this week that are very easy, budget friendly, and that are super delicious. So if you'd like to see how I made these recipes, then just keep watching. Tonight we're gonna make homemade pizza for dinner. One of the things that I love about making homemade pizza is you can customize it to what you and your family like. It's a great way to use up leftovers or use whatever you have on hand, whatever meats, vegetables you have, you can put it on a pizza and it will be delicious. Tonight, this is what we're gonna go with. I've got some mozzarella cheese. I've got just a little bit of this cheese left on all these, but then I have got another pack from Great Value. I mentioned this in my grocery haul, but I'm going to try this pizza crust mix tonight. I've never tried it before, but you can use homemade dough, pre-made pizza dough, whatever you've got. I'm gonna use some pepperoni, some mushrooms. I've got this great value pizza sauce. The packet calls for a half a cup of hot water and I believe it's a teaspoon of oil. So I've got that, and then it also calls for you to spray your pizza pan with some cooking spray. So I've got some cooking spray. And then my husband likes olives on his pizza, so I'll do olives on his half. These are just left over from a charcuterie board I made a few days ago, and there's also some roasted red peppers in there, so I'll just slice those up and put those on his half. And then I know this is controversial, but we do like uh, pineapple on our pizza, so I'm gonna add some pineapple to our pizza. But that is all that you need for homemade pizza. To make the pizza, I'm going to start out by preheating my oven to 475 degrees. I'm then going to take this pizza crust mix from Great Value, empty it into a bowl. I'm then going to take, I believe this is a half a cup of water, it's just on the back of the packet. And the packet says you want to stir this with a fork about 30 strokes until the dough starts to come together. And you can see the dough is starting to come together in a ball, so I'm just going to take it in my hands and just kind of form it into a ball and then put it back into the bowl. Next, the directions say to take about a teaspoon of oil and cover the dough, but I am just going to use this cooking spray. And I'm going to spray the dough and then you are going to want to cover this and set it aside for about five minutes. Next, you're going to take your pizza pan and spray it with cooking spray. You're then going to take your dough and press it out onto your pizza pan. You'll then want to take a fork and generously prick the pizza crust. And once you've done that, you will put it in the oven for about five minutes. After five minutes, you'll want to remove your crust from the oven. I am going to take some of this great value pizza sauce and put it on the pizza. You can be really creative here and use whatever you would like as a base. Barbecue sauce is really good, so is buffalo sauce or ranch or Alfredo, or you can just skip the sauce all together and just um, sprinkle some olive oil over the crust with some salt and pepper. Next, you're gonna to wanna to top your pizza with whatever toppings you're gonna to be using. Tonight, I'm going to do pepperoni, mushrooms, pineapple, and then some sliced black olives on one side of the pizza. And finally, you're gonna to wanna to top your pizza with cheese. I'm just using some shredded mozzarella. You can use Colby Jack or cheddar or even pepper jack is good. Now I am going to put my pizza into the preheated oven and cook it for about nine to 11 minutes or until your pizza crust is brown and your cheese is melted. 
and here is the finished pizza. I'm going to allow it to cool for about five or 10 minutes before I cut into it. And here are our finished plates. I just served our pizza with some side salads with homemade honey mustard. And this pizza was actually pretty good. I would use this again. So on this night, I made some crock pot kielbasa, sauerkraut, and apples. I will link the recipe to this in the description box below, but it's really easy. You basically just take kielbasa, cut it into large chunks, add some sauerkraut, some sliced apples, and a splash of apple cider or apple juice to your crock pot. And then you want to cook it on low for about four hours or on high for two hours. And then um, it's done. And I served it this night with some broccoli cheese, rice casserole, and some sweet hot mustard. I will link the recipe for this down in the description box. I am having her recipe. So the amounts that you see here are half of the recipe. You will need some water, some milk, you will need some rice. Now her recipe calls for minute rice. I did not have any, so I just cooked um, plain white rice for about nine minutes and used that. You'll need a can of cream of chicken soup, some onion soup mix, and some cooked chicken. I just cooked a couple of chicken breasts in the air fryer. You'll need some sour cream and some salt and pepper. Next, and this could not be any easier, you just take all of your ingredients, put them into a mixing bowl, and combine them all together. Now, you'll see I forgot to add the water, um, and it still turned out um, just fine. So now that I've got that all mixed up, I am going to take a nine by nine casserole dish. Again, I'm having this recipe and I'm going to spray it pretty well with some cooking spray. You're then gonna take your rice and chicken mixture and put it into your baking dish. And I do wanna quickly note, when you go to add your salt, keep in mind that the onion soup mix and the cream of chicken soup can be quite salty. So just keep that in mind when you're adding your salt. Next, you're gonna to wanna to cover this with foil and cook it covered for 50 minutes. Then you'll wanna take it out, uncover it, and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. So my casserole has been cooking for about 50 minutes. So I am gonna take it out of the oven and uncover it. I'm also going to take these french fried onions and sprinkle it on half. The recipe does not call for this, but um, Southern Mama Drama posted a, I think it was like a loaded chicken noodle casserole recipe a week or so ago. I'll link her channel down below. And she put french fried onions on her casserole, um, so I thought I would give it a try. And again, I'm just putting it on half to see how we like it. So here is the finished casserole. I've let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes just to cool down a little bit. So I'm gonna serve us up some and then I will show you what our plates look like.
here are the finished plates. I served this with some side salads. My salad has some homemade honey mustard and my husband chose some Thousand Island dressing and that's dinner tonight. Tonight I made Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes along with some tater tots and ketchup for dinner. This was really, really delicious. This is probably one of our favorite meals this week. I will be sure to link the recipe in the description box below. I followed it almost exactly. I just substituted ground turkey for the ground beef. Uh, one, that's what I had on hand. And two, we normally substitute ground turkey for ground beef anyway. Also, I had seen uh, Missy over on Love Missy XO's channel. She adds A1 sauce to this, and so I decided to give it a try tonight, and I'm so glad that I did. It was really, really delicious, so I'll link her channel down in the description box below as well. But again, this was really good. I highly recommend this recipe. Tonight, we are going to make homemade hibachi. Now, I did not follow a recipe for this. I just eyeballed all of the amounts based on what we like. But down in the description box, I will list a link to a recipe that's very similar to what I did. For the fried rice, you're going to need soy sauce, eggs, vegetables, whatever you would like, oil, salt and pepper, and cooked and cold rice. And then for the hibachi itself, you'll need to take whatever meat you want to use. Tonight, we're going to use chicken steak and shrimp. You'll need to cut those into large chunks. You'll also need oil salt and pepper, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, butter, and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna start with the rice. So in a skillet over about medium high heat, I've got a little bit of oil and I'm going to add an egg and scramble that up. And while the egg is cooking, I'm gonna get started on the meat. In a separate pan, I've just got a cast iron skillet over medium high heat, also with a little bit of oil. I'm going to add my steak I'm going to season it with salt and pepper, and then I'm just going to sear it on all sides. While my steak is searing, I am going to move back over to my rice. So I'm gonna add some of these frozen peas and carrots, but you can add whatever vegetables you like. And I'm just going to stir the vegetables in with the egg and just give that a stir. Next, you're going to want to add in your rice. Now, you do want to use pre-cooked cooled rice, so make it a few hours or even the day before, or you can use leftover takeout rice. Next, I'm going to add some soy sauce. Again, this is really just a taste. I'm gonna stir that in, and you can also add in some sesame oil if you would like. Back to the steak, I'm going to add in some homemade teriyaki sauce and a couple of pats of butter and stir that around. As soon as your steak is cooked to your liking, you'll wanna remove it from the pan. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing with my chicken and with my shrimp. A little oil, saute it, add some teriyaki sauce, salt and pepper, and butter, and that's it. So here's the finished rice. I just let it cook while my meat was cooking and I stirred it every so often. And here are the finished products. So we have our fried rice, our steak, our chicken, and our shrimp. Now, a lot of times I'll make hibachi vegetables. I just didn't feel like doing it tonight, but if you do, they're really, really good. You'll just take your vegetables, onions, mushrooms, zucchini, carrots are really good. Cut them up, put some oil in your skillet and saute the vegetables and add the um, soy sauce salt and pepper and teriyaki sauce just as if you were cooking the meat and here's the finished product i served it along with some yum yum sauce i will link the recipe for that in the description box below you guys this was so so good it was our favorite meal of the week by far we absolutely love this i highly recommend um, I love to use our Blackstone Grill to make this, but it was raining and nasty outside today, so I didn't feel like using it. But you can also use um, a griddle to make this. That works really well. And that's this week's What's for Dinner video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel.